is a, a great guy. He has a vision. This community is a, a village, as I can say, and the children around, some of them doesn't like going to school. So Eric came out with this NGO to help them so that they can have some interest in education. And at the end of the day, he has achieved something. My name is Eric, and I am a son of this very community. I came up with this Harriet Tubman Davis Youth Foundation to help the poor and the needy kids. She's a woman, Harriet Tubman, we know in America, who did help the underground reign of the slaves. She's very important for the emancipation. Even in Ghana, that's why we have her picture in Asun Manson Slave River. Harriet Tubman's experience has a good message for the little girls having a future vision objective for themselves, not only working in the kitchen as housewife. You know, female children, you know, uh, it's like they normally, you know, Africa, the female children doesn't normally like to go to school. I do well in math and English and science too. How about you? Do you study in the school? <laughs> she don't know how to She's speak. shy. Okay. <laughs> she don't know how to speak. We try to motivate them so that at the end of the day, they can get something from it. Because in this model one that we are, it's not only the men can do it, the women also can do it. This is the New Nation International School. You can have a dance class, so New Nation International School. These are the kids' classrooms. These kids we are trying to grab, we are trying to call, they can come up here to be motivated, to study. All these are the classrooms we are occupying. From the one, two, three, up to the six, I started having vision for this very kid and putting some hopes in some of these children, adapting some of them in school and helping them to motivate them in school and classrooms. This is the library. The small library I did establish for the kids, children from the primary, the nursery and to the high school, the junior high school, they can all come here. Ghana is a developing country and at the end of the day we need much support so that at the end of the day, in future, our education level can be better, especially in the local community. In Asimpraso and Adasimpraso and beyond. These are some of the students we can find here. They are trying to back up their studies and their education and they are in the classroom of the, the primary six classroom right now studying. The government don't care about it, but we establishing this foundation knows the orphans and the needy poor children. So we are trying to bring them back to the classroom.